Today we have a special guest, Ulrike Selleck. Ulrike is a healing voice expert, a classical singer, and the author of a captivating new book called Sing Yourself Well in Seven Seconds, How to Feel So Great You'll Barely Keep from Jumping Up and Down. How's that for a catchy title? Did you know that we only use 20% of our voice? This book tells you how to use more of your voice. It tells you how to improve your health and energy, have more self-confidence, and feel free, centered, and empowered. I just finished reading it and learned a lot. It's a -a one-of-a-kind page-turner, and I would say this book is for everyone, especially if you don't sing. So let's talk to the author now. Welcome, Ulrike, to Let Your Heart Sing. Hi, Sheila. So nice to be here. Thank you. I really like your book. One of my favorite parts is about that life-changing event that happened when you were five years old. It set the stage for personal development. Would you like to tell us about it? Thank you, Sheila. Yes. When I was five years old, I drowned. And after the initial panic, I quickly realized that my body was uh, not me. (laughs) I popped into a state where I was absolutely at home. I felt so cozy and everything was light filled and there was humming and I was home. There was nothing to wish for and I was safe and it was as if I've always been there. So from a very, very early age, I got to know what God is, where I live, who I, who I really am. So that's been the guiding light all my life. And through ups and downs, through my very introvert childhood and teenage time, <laughs> um, I finally found somebody who taught me TM. And that first meditation, when I sat down, even though I was a little scared and I didn't know what to expect, I sat down, I followed the instructions And within a few seconds, I was home. I was at that same spot that I had missed so, so much all these many years. And I remember tears running down my cheeks and uh, I was home. Nothing more to uh, yearn for or seek for, finally. I had been given the key to life and I never let it go. I've been meditating ever since and it's the most precious, precious thing that I've ever experienced in my life. But nature wasn't done teaching me. When I was I had just become a TM teacher after um, serving, uh, being around Marishi for two and a half years and cooking for Mother Divine, uh, I became a TM teacher and then I taught TM. And uh, nature wanted to make sure that I understood that just like Marishi says, life is 100% absolute and 100% relative, that I was missing a little bit of the relative. So nature had me undergo a health crisis where I had to uh, seek help from a very renowned Ayurvedic physician. And he told me that if I wanted to heal, I had to learn to sing. This imbalance was in my throat, the fifth chakra, the seat of communication, and I was not communicating. (laughs) I was not singing and I was not speaking. So I had to learn all that when I was already 32 at the time. And ever since then, I've been singing and performing and teaching. And the past 17 years, I've seen hundreds of clients and every single person needed to open their voice so they could hear who they are on the inside and express it to the world. Now, with the book, finally, I can reach more people. In the book, I show you why we didn't sing, wherever it came from, upbringing, government, religion, medical profession, your own shyness, you think you can't sing, and also why we need to sing all the benefits for the body and for the mind and for the soul in addition i also teach you the seven steps that once you learn them and it'll take you reading the book and maybe learning it from the video training uh, it's about two hours of video training once you've learned it you'll be able to apply it in seven seconds in seven seconds if you feel in a funk and you want to get out of the funk you just start those steps and I promise you, in seven seconds, you will feel different. Your body will, will have a different chemistry. Your brain will react differently. You will not even remember what funk you were in just before. One of the most important points that I learned from reading the book is that the body needs space in order to create beautiful, harmonious frequencies, vibrations, and sound. And um, that's what your seven steps does. In seven seconds, it opens up the space in your body. Exactly. You're having a book signing coming up very soon. Yes. November 11th, I believe, at Revelations. Yes, Friday, November 11th, 7.30, and I'm going to start pretty much on time, and I will try to 
be done by around 8 and then there'll be half an hour of book signing. I'll do a short intro and a demonstration. People can learn some free voice tools and breath tools. And uh, that way everybody can go to bed or go home or go dancing at 8.30. Wonderful. So, uh, start right at 7.30. <laughs> well, this is fabulous. And it's for health. It's for confidence. It's for just building your self-esteem. Yes, it's for, for overall happiness. Overall if you, happiness. If you're in a slump and you need a quick fix to get out of it immediately. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Ulrike, very much for being with us. Thank you, Sheila. You're welcome. And now we're going to hear a portion of Ulrike's arrangement of Handel's Rejoice. The pianist is Donald Sosin, and the percussionist is David Herlin. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Isn't that beautiful? I invite you to visit Ulrike online at singyourselfwell.com. Ulrike is spelled U-L-R-I-K-E. She also has a Facebook page and a number of YouTube videos showcasing her operatic voice. Ulrike's book, Sing Yourself Well in 7 Seconds, is available now on Amazon.com. <laughs>